Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem they are given, a bag contains 3 black and 4 white balls. Two balls are drawn at random, one at a time, without replacement. The first one they are asking what is the product that the second ball drawn is white. So we are looking for the second white. So let's take P of second white. It means first we can take white and again second is also white. This is one possibility or first we can take black then we can get white in the second draw. So in these are the two cases the second is white. Getting first white out of this three black and four white is four out of the total seven into now already one white is taken, it is without replacement. Now three more white will be there out of six. So it is three by six. Now coming to the second part, getting black is three by seven. Then getting white is still four whites are remaining out of the six. Because we have taken only the black color. So the number of black will reduce by one, but white number will remain the same. But total will decrease by one. So totally this is 12 by 42 plus 12 by 42. So on the whole it is 24 by 42. By cancelling 6 table it is 4 out of 7. Coming to the second part of the question. They want the conditional probability that the first ball drawn is white. If the second ball is known to be white. So we are going to write the formula. P of we know the second ball is white. We want to know what is the product that the first is also white. So by conditional probability it is P of first white intersection of second white whole divided by P of second white. The numerator first and second white it means both the white comes from this four white balls. So from four we get two white which is 4C2 divided by the total 7C2 and P of second white already we have calculated the first solution which is 4 by 7. So we can write the value 4 by 7 directly here. Now coming to the numerator. It is 4 into 3 by 1 into 2 whole division, 7 into 6 by 1 into 2. Only the numerator part is written here. Denominator 4 by 7 is still as it is. So here we can cancel these two. Then we have 4 into 3 by 7 into 6 into this denominator 4 by 7 will be taken to the numerator and multiplied by taking the reciprocal that is 7 by 4. So we can cancel the 7 and 7, 4 and 4. Totally 3 by 6 is 1 by 2.